there you go zero one two zero 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 one two three four zero 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 hello and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing good so i have been asked to create a video on this pattern which looks like a triangle so here it is for you so yeah without wasting further more time let's get right into the video okay. all right so we need a loop to create the number of rows okay so let me first initialize a local variable a bang local local variables will name it as local number of rows cool and we'll use enumerate function enumerate of 5 because we will be creating only 5 rows so enumerate of 5 plus 1 to exclude 0 and to include 5 cool now a bang for each for each items is gonna be my local variable local number of rows okay this is gonna be my item and in expression what I'll do I will declare another local variable to store the current index okay expression a bang local variable let me quickly declare a local variable here local variable and now I need to store the current index so how would I do that first I will declare a local variable and then I'll initialize it okay local and what should I name it as maybe index okay index and here I'm going to store the current index cool using FP bank index okay now I have already initialized it now what is the next step I need to now implement a loop to iterate through each row of that triangle okay which is gonna be my inner loop cool so here I will take another a bank for each and in here my items should be this local index loop will be iterated through each row of the triangle let's say if the current row is 2 then th then my inner loop will run for 2 times if the current row is 3 then my inner loop will run for 3 times to draw the number of columns of that particular row okay so enumerate enumerate of local index cool local index again I have to exclude 0 and include the last number okay now in expression what I'll do I will use if condition over here okay because if you look at this pattern odd rows have 0 see first row ha first row has 0 third row has 0 fifth row has 0 however even rows have numbers 1 2 3 right so I need to check whether the current row is even or odd and based on that I will be displaying the numbers okay so how would I check if the current row is even or odd using mod right so mod of first I'll use if condition if mod of dividend is gonna be my local index because local index is nothing but but the current row right so local index if it is completely divisible by 2 then that means it's an even row right and we have to display the numbers but if it is not divisible by 2 then we have to display zeros so if it is divisible by 2 then we will be displaying the numbers fp index else 0 right so here fp index means the index of this loop this inner loop let's say the current row is 2 okay so here it enters this loop and my list is gonna be enumerate of 2 that is 1 and 2 now in expression I am checking if 
index is divisible by 2 or not okay so index is 2 2 is divisible by 2 0 is equal to 0 so it has to print fb index fb index means the current index of the inner loop that is 1 it will print 1 in the second row as its first column right again in the second iteration of this inner loop the condition becomes satisfied here so it will again print fb index so for the second iteration of this inner loop our fb index would be 2 so it is gonna print 2 as its second column of that second row right so 1 and 2 it has printed 1 and 2 for the second row okay and same goes for all other rows cool now if i quickly test this out okay let me just here it's returning 15 items 0 1 2 okay i think here i need to wrap this inner loop inside join array function join array okay now if i again test this rule out there you go 0 1 2 0 0 0 1 2 3 4 0 0 0 0 0 how it is working let me quickly show you guys so here for the first iteration of my outer loop this will be 1 right because we are storing the current index in our local index so local index would be 1 now it enters the inner loop and here it's enumerating enumerating of 1 would be would give you 1 right so here we are checking the condition if the condition becomes true then it has to print fp index that means the current index of the inner loop else it has to print 0 okay and we are printing 0 only for the odd rows and printing numbers for the even rows okay so here it enters the loop and checks if the local index is completely divisible by 2 or not so local index is 1 1 is not divisible by 2 so it is printing 0 right and also my inner loop will only run for one time because enumerate of local index gives us 1 right now for the second iteration of my outer loop local index would be 2 right now again it enters the inner loop and here enumerating of 2 gives 1 and 2 so inner loop is gonna run for two times right now here again we are checking the condition local index 2 is completely divisible by 2 so here the condition becomes true so it has to print fb index fb index means the current index of the inner loop that is 1 right because we have 1 and 2 here now again for the second iteration of my inner loop right it's the second iteration the, so the current index is 2 so it's gonna again print 2 because the condition becomes true and here it has to print fb index so it's printing 2 as as the second column of the second row this is my second row and this is my second column 2 is my second column okay, okay so that's how it's working so that's pretty much for the day if you want more such videos please like my video share it as much as you can and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video until then cheers bye bye